The Sesame Street Pet Show by Emily Perkinsley, illustrated by Norman Chartier. It was the day of Sesame Street's big pet show. Ernie was on his way to the show, clutching a brown paper bag when he saw birds standing on the street corner. Come here, come down here, Bernie's. Come down, called Bert to his pet pigeon. I want to straighten out your beautiful feathers so you'll look your best. Bernice landed on Bert's finger and cooed happily as he smoothed her feathers. Look at her, Ernie, said Bert. No pet at the show will be able to fly as high as Bernice can. She is sure to win the prize. Hey, Ernie. Where is your pet? He's right here, Bert. Right inside this paper bag. But you can't see him until the show, said Ernie. I want him to be a surprise. See you later, Bert. Ernie walked it down Sesame Street and passed a big bird who was talking into a fishbowl. That's right, Goldie. Another few laps, Big Bird said to his pet fish who was swimming furious, furiously back and forth in the bowl. I bet no other pet at the show will be able to swim as fast as you can. You're sure to win the prize. Ernie held up his bag. My pet, my pet can't swim, said Ernie, but he's going to win the prize anyway. Oh, there. Our Parish Patricia wants a cookie. Hey Ernie, said Cookie Master, who was standing next to a bird cage with a parrot in it. Me have talking pet for a pet show. Per Patricia the parrot get prize at the show. Gee, said Ernie. My pet can't talk, but he'll still win the prize. Rodeo Rosie rode past on her horse. Lance can get up so fast. She called to Ernie that I know he's going to win the prize at the pet show. <laughs> Rufus, Ernie said to the paper bag, I know you're not as fast as Lance, but I still think you'll win. Meanwhile, Oscar was leaning out of his trap. Uh, uh, no, no. I'm oh, sorry. Meanwhile, Oscar was leaning out of his can, talking to his pet skunk. You really smell yucky, Daisy. Oscar said, "You're going to be the winner at the pet show." Hi, Ernie, said Harry Monster. Come look at my sweet little kitty. Sam can wash his face with his paw. I'm sure he's going to win the prize at the pet show. Gee, Harry, my pet can't wash his face, but I think he's going to win anyway.
Then Ernie saw Grover and his pet. Hi, Ernie, said Grover. Look at my furry little puppy, Floyd. He is so cute and adorable. I just know he will win the prize. Ernie sat down in the playground swing. Gee, said, uh, gee, he said to himself, my, pe my pet can't coo, can't swim, can't talk, can't gallop, can't wash his face. And he isn't even furry. The cat was busy getting his pet ready for the pet show. Hold still. Activa, I want to tie a ribbon on each your of your lovely arms. There, that's one arm, two arms, three. Stop wiggling, Activa, darling. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight beautiful arms. Surely you, you will win the prize. When Ernie saw Betty Lou, she was coaching her pet frog. Come on, Louise. You can hop higher than that. She said, oh, hi, Ernie. Look what Louise can do. I bet she'll win the prize at the pet show. At last, Ernie arrived at the pet show. Line up, everybody, said Sherlock Hemlock, who was the judge. Is everybody ready? The Sesame Street Pet Show is about to, to begin. Judge Sherlock Hemlock began to move slowly down the line, looking carefully at every pet. Eat gad, said Sherlock, as he watched Goldie, the Goldie swim a lap. Eight arms, incredible. He remarked it as he ex examined insane. Active, I don't know. Eight arms, incredible. As he remarked it as he examined Activa the octopus. Cute and furry indeed, he said, expecting Grover's puppy Floyd. Uh hmm, uh hmm. I have, uh, um, I have made up my mind, and now said Sherlock, when he reached the end of the line. End of the line, yeah. Uh-oh. The prize for the highest flyer goes to Bird's Pitch and Bernice. The prize for the best swimmer is won by Big Bird's goldfish, Goldie. Cookie Master's parrot, Patricia, wins the prize for best talker. And Rodeo Rosie's horse, Lance, wins the prize for fastiest. <laughs> Daisy Oscar Skunk wins smelliest. And Sam Harry's kitten wins cleanest. Grover's puppy Floyd is definitely the furriest pet. Active, Activa the octopus, the count's pet, wins the prize for most arms. And Betty Lou's frog Louise wins the Bass Hopper prize. Everyone's pet is special, said Sherlock Hemlock, giving blue ribbons to all the pets. Everyone's pet wins a prize. Oh, no, no, everyone's pet wins a prize. Wait, cried Ernie. You haven't seen my pet yet. Ernie took a glass, I mean, Ernie took a glass jar out of his paper, I mean, brown paper bag. The top of the jar had holes punched in it. He uns unscrewed it the top and 
something out a small brown bug. This is Rufus, said Ernie. That's your pet? asked Betty Lou, a little brown bug. Don't tell me that boring bug is your terrific pet, said Oscar. What kind of prize can your bug win, Ernie? asked Big Bird. Then Rufus began to glow. Oh my goodness, shouted Grover. He lights up to Rufus the Firefly, said Sherlock Hemlock. I award the prize of brightest pet. Hooray, shouted everyone. The end.